Hey guys, Ron with Vengeance Racing here. Uh, I wanted to do a slightly different video format today. We typically take you guys out, do a couple of wide open throttle pulls, maybe some idle clips, uh, some beauty shots of the cars. Uh, but this particular time, I wanted to include some customer feedback, some interaction, and talk more about this build in particular because it's absolutely one of our favorites. Uh, standing beside me is Tim McCabe. Tim brought us his 2022 ZL1 1LE with a whopping 87 miles on the odometer uh, for our Magnuson Street package uh, that we altered a bit and, and had a few additions in uh, to make it unique to him. Tim, if you don't mind, and, and we're doing this off the cuff, but I just, I'm curious to know what led you to Vengeance Racing, what kind of research you did, and, and just what ultimately made you choose to invest the type of money into a project like this sure. with us. Sure. So um, I moved to Cumming area in 2006. Ever since then, I'm, I've always been in, into cars um, and, and making cars faster. I had a Subaru that I modded when I was in my 20s. And then I've had two or three Camaros before this one, um, but never really was at a point in my life that I could uh, afford to make the changes that I want to. Um, and I'm blessed enough now to do that. But along that path from when I was, you know, my young 20s till now, almost uh, almost 40, I, I've been following you since you practically since you open, um, and I've heard countless of good good things, countless you know videos that I've watched, um, been on forums, Camaro forums, Facebook, and there's not one person I could ever find that said anything ba bad about you. So I I really just chose chose you guys because you can produce exactly what you say to pr you can produce. You're you're cut and dry, everything's there in black and white, and. Uh, and I really just from following you over the years, it's, it was just, I didn't even need to look elsewhere. Well, on that note, what leads me to my next question that I have to ask, mm -hmm. in your case, did we deliver everything that you expected and what you had read and researched? And like, what was your experience like? What, what set Vengeance apart from other shops and what did you feel like as a customer? Yeah, you know, from the first email, it was basically always just tell her about what I want and what my goals were. I was never being pushed on anything. I was never being steered in a direction I didn't want. When I asked for advice, I, I, I got professional proven advice. Um, so the, the whole process, the, the, they're not just slapping parts on and don't have a reason for why you're doing it. You're, you're putting them on um, because you have you know, experience doing so. Um, so the answers that I got from your sales team was basically just very educated um, and it made me feel very comfortable. So cool. awesome. uh, that's pretty much why I, I would definitely recommend anybody to give you, give you a call. He can make anything happen. Were the, uh, were the daily updates with pictures a nice touch or? A absolutely. I mean, I actually didn't know anything about them until the car, I dropped the car off. Pictures of each phase along the way. Uh, and it, you know, everyone gets impatient and really wants to know what's happening. It really just curbs that appetite throughout the process. And that's one of the things I, I definitely want to say, keep that up because it's just, it would, you know where, where your car is at. It was, it was yeah. amazing. It, and you can have all the pictures and everything on your own that you could save. And it was, it was pretty neat. It felt like I was there. Cool. Good, good. And you've had a chance to look the car over. What do you think of the overall quality of the work and, and the finished product that was yeah. delivered to you? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big uh, guy on the, on the little things, um, hoses, clamps, little things to make it look clean. It, Looks like it came from the factory. I think we made a little bit more power than we were expecting too, didn't just, we? Just a tad. Yeah. <laughs> I also went a little overboard, but. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, but definitely a little bit more power than we anticipated, um, which which is always good news. Um, yeah. And that was another reason why um, I went with you guys because it's reliable power. I could drive this car every day to work if I wanted to, or I could just drive it on a race track on the weekends. You know, you could do anything with it. It's not just gonna go fast once and break you know it's it's reliable power absolutely and uh that's that's where your money goes awesome well i appreciate you taking the time to share that you want to go out and experience what you uh paid for here let's do it cool let's wrap it up and go do it thank you this is third gear we're 45 
shat myself. <laughs>